So here we have a third set of energetics questions. They're all multiple choice. They are past paper questions from old archive AQA A-level chemistry papers. So because energetics in particular do take a little bit longer to answer, I'm really going to recommend you pause in each um, example and work through in detail to get to your final answer to see how confident you are on this particular topic. Starting with question one. And on here, we are given a series of enthalpy changes for a range of different reactions. It's not as straightforward as it often could be where you're provided with enthalpy of formation or enthalpy of combustion. So <clears throat> you need to piece it together like a jigsaw. Now, I have been given 4C plus 5H2 goes to C4H10. So I'm going to use that as a start point for my cycle going along the top. From there, I know that if I combust 4C, I'm going to get 4CO2. So I'm going to get 4 times negative 394 as my enthalpy change for that. But I'm also going to make 5H2O. So that's 5 times negative 286. When I put all of that together, I've now got negative 3006 for that portion of the cycle. And if I combust C4H10... I make 4CO2 and 5H2O, so I've got my space to calculate X. Now, I'm going to identify my two roots. I've got my blue root and my green root, and I'm going to take the numbers from those two roots and put them in. So negative 3006 equals negative 126 plus X. Rearrange that to make X the subject, and we have our answer. X is negative 2880. Next question. So once again, we're given a range of energetics data and we are going to have to build a cycle from them. We're told that butane forms propane, hydrogen and carbon and we want the enthalpy change for that. So there's my start point for this particular reaction. Um, from there, what else have I been given? Well, I've got 4C plus 5H2 gives us C4H10, and that has a value of negative 125.2. So I've put that in. I've also been given the enthalpy of formation of propane, C3H8. That's negative 104. I haven't been provided with the enthalpy of formation of carbon and H2, but by definition, they are both zero because you're forming them from their elements in their standard states at standard temperature and pressure. That's actually all of the data we need. We now identify the two roots. I've got my blue and my green. I substitute the data in from those two roots, rearrange it to make X the subject, and that takes me to X being plus 21.2. Next question. So we want to know what the enthalpy change is for the combustion of propane. So I'm going to start by writing the equation for that. Um, you would need to be able to work it out. Remember, we make CO2 and H2O and balance it. And we know that the enthalpy change for that is what we want, so we're identifying that as X. But we've been given the enthalpy of formation data of propane, so I can put that in. We've not been given the enthalpy of formation data of O2 because by definition it's zero. I've also been given enthalpy of combustion data for carbon and hydrogen, so I've put those figures in. And that takes me to a total of negative 2323.7. As I've done on the previous cycles, I identify my two roots, green and blue. I'm going to substitute those numbers in, and then I'm going to rearrange to make X the subject. And that takes me to a value of X, negative 2219.7, which has been rounded in this case to negative 2220. Next question.
And there's quite a lot to think about here. The direct oxidation of ammonia to nitrogen dioxide can be represented by the overall equation we see. But it can be broken down into stages. Now, it's important to note that this is a combination of reaction one and reaction two. Now, if I want to combine them, you'll notice I'm making 4NO in reaction one. Reaction two starts with 2NO. So if I'm going to combine these two equations into one overall equation, I'm going to double reaction two, double everything about it. And once I do that, I can put all of the data in and we get something that looks like this. This is transposing everything from the left of reaction one and two onto the left and everything from the right onto the right then we can start to deal with spectators. There's actually two things to consider here. The NO cancels out, we've got four on each side, but I've also got 5O2 and 2O2, which can be simplified to 7O2. And if you then take a look at that equation, it's identical to the one that we are working out the enthalpy change for. Now, to do that, I need negative 909, because that's the first equation. The second equation, I'm doubling, so it's 2 times minus 115, which takes me to a total value of negative 1139. 